Greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the VertZine Netcast. Now, VertZine, the Netcast, is the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. And I am glad you can join us for another Netcast. This is number eight in our series of Netcasts. And I do want to tell you, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the VertZine Netcast. Now, let's talk about what's been going on in the virtualization and cloud computing market over the last few weeks. Uh, since the last netcast, I had a posting here on the Vertzine uh, blog, which is V-I-R-T-Z-I-N-E dot com. Vertzine dot com, as it says here. And the Vertzine netcast uh, is just a compilation of what we've been talking about on the blog. So let's go to the blog. Dell announces their smallest thin clients yet. Now, these are Dell branded thin client uh, terminals for VMware View, Citrix, Zen Desktop, and other clients that you would use, RDP, for instance, uh, and so forth, for virtual desktop uh, infrastructure VDI initiatives. And this is their smallest, physically smallest clients yet. So pretty neat. I, th I want to get some in and look at them. I, I would love to see them, particularly since we're such big Dell customers uh, at work. I want to see you know, what their terminals look like uh, and how they fit into our environment. So I'll let you know more about that as we get there. Next item, Oracle Database is being added to Amazon's cloud services. Amazon Web Services plans to make the Oracle Database 11G R2 available on its relational database service RDX uh, RDS I should say under the next in the next quarter. So uh, it's amazing what's coming to these cloud platforms like Amazon's, and I'm interested in watching to see how that develops uh, as more of these products are added to the cloud uh, services arena. Now you know that you've got. Software as a Service, S-A-A-S, SaaS, Software as a Service, and then Platforms as a Service, P-A-A-S, Platforms as a Service. And this is kind of almost a combination of both uh, areas, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this develops. Now, the next item, VMware offers new certifications for virtual desktop computing. We just mentioned a minute ago about virtual desktop computing and VDI that's beginning to grow more and more and more and for the desktop support folks at a lot of corporations they're looking at training and they're looking at certifications in those fields as well so VMware is now offering new desktop certifications um, that involves both the VMware Certified Associate 4 in desktop which is the VCA 4-DT and then also the VMware Certified Professional 4 Desktop, VCP4-DT. Uh, the VCAP, which is the Advanced Certification, VCAP dot, uh, or dash DT, is coming soon. They didn't have any more details about that. But uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see how that develops as well. And our desktop folks uh, at High Point Regional are really looking forward to getting into those programs and going for those certifications. I've talked to several of them and they're really interested in it. So uh, we should know more details about the real world aspects of that as we get closer to it. Another item, Citrix buys desktop in a box vendor Kavisa. Now I saw Kavisa at the recent uh, VMware user group day basically that they had uh, down in Charlotte and uh, I showed a little bit of video from that here on the Vertze netcast. Kavisa was down there and I stopped by their table and I talked to them briefly about what they're doing. Basically they are providing Citrix Zen Desktop in a uh, kind of a I guess you call it commoditized <laughs> if, I, if that's a word fashion where they basically do a soup to nuts implementation of virtual desktops in small to medium sized businesses and they're doing it for a price point of about five hundred dollars per seat to do that well that that vendor Kavisa has been purchased by Citrix because they've gotten a lot of uh, experience in implementing the Citrix product 
in small to medium sized businesses. So Citrix bought the company, they liked them so much they bought the company, and uh, they are now a part of Citrix and I think they're going to roll that into their services uh, as well. So that's pretty neat. Last item for this week, Citrix announces their Open Olymp or Project Olympus offering. Project Olympus. Now, basically, as I understand this, it is the OpenStack open source project, but now Citrix is offering that as a paid for service with their uh, professional services group and with uh, a cloud platform. Uh, kind of like Amazon's web services, except they're, they're implementing this OpenStack uh, commercial version, let's put it that way, of, of OpenStack, the cloud platform. Uh, and it says here Citrix Systems has added Project Olympus, a new cloud product, to its open cloud computing portfolio as a complement to the Citrix NetScaler Cloud Gateway and the NetScaler Cloud Bridge. Citrix Systems announced Project Olympus, a new cloud infrastructure product based on the open source cloud operating system OpenStack at Centric Synergy Summit on May 25th. Project Olympus will be the first commercialized version of OpenStack and will begin shipping later this year, Citrix said. So, uh, the whole open, you know, I start to open source, but the whole cloud computing, whether it's open source or product, uh, the cloud computing world is opening up tremendously and a lot of folks are looking at products and services that leverage cloud computing. So again, we'll just have to keep watching this space and see how this grows, but I think it's going to be a brave new world. Matter of fact, I even read an article this week that said we are now officially in the post-PC era, meaning that we're getting past personal computers and moving toward cloud clients like the Chromebook and uh, uh, terminals in the workplace and so forth that will just tap into cloud resources. We'll see how that develops. Uh, I think that it is uh, basically a, a, it's time has come situation, you know what I'm saying? I think that we're moving in that direction. We've had a few bumps along the way as you know but we're moving in that direction. I think it's going to be an exciting time in the next couple of years as we move into the cloud computing era more fully. And we'll be here with Vertzine to help cover that. So stick with us. And remember, until next time, keep your head in the cloud. <laughs>